long-suffering in doctrine. For the time will come, and that time has come, where they will heat to the ears. They will turn away their ears from the truth, and they'll be turned unto fables. In other words, people don't want to hear the truth anymore. They want to be lulled to sleep. They don't want to be ruffled. They don't want to have to make a change. That's the reality. of, And, and many preachers will have to answer to God for failing to deal with the sins of the people. We are told on page 321 of the first volume of the Testimonies that those who preach God's message at this hour will have to bear a more pointed testimony than that of John the Baptist. John called the church leaders vipers, hypocrites, and snakes. But he was being critical, right? He was being critical. That's what they say about those who are preaching present truth today. Oh, they're being critical of the church. They're judging. Jesus said, judge, judge righteous judgment. Jesus said, ye shall know them by their fruits. The Bible says, have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. That's Ephesians 5.11. So, brothers and sisters, let us be where the rebukes are being given and not listening to the song of fools. Jeremiah 50 and verse 28. Jeremiah 50 and verse 28. Notice what the Bible says. Jeremiah 50 and verse 28. So those who are in Babylon, what are they to do? Notice what the Bible says they are to do in Jeremiah 50 and verse 28. The Bible says... The voice of them that flee, and what else? And it says, the voice of them that what? And what else? Escape out of the land of Babylon to declare in Zion the vengeance of the Lord our God and the vengeance of his temple. Notice that it used the word flee and it used the word escape. It used the word flee and it used the word escape. Where are they escaping from? Babylon. It says they're escaping from Babylon. Now we already made it clear that the SDA